morning, Chairman. I would like to thank David and all the participants, the organizers, to invite me as an honor invite speaker to participate in this uh, uh, biotechnological congress. All the honor is for me. But I need to apologize for my delay to attend to the meeting yesterday because I have uh, many problems of uh, delivery of etiquette because of a uh, uh, problem on the conflict of service in the e-agency. I need to check a new fly and buy a new ticket, so I'm very sorry. Okay, I need uh, now to start. My talk is about... Uh, <coughs> what is it? So, so this is the title of my talk. Is uh, the use of some combined uh, near infrared Raman spectroscopy and barrel bioreactor to correlate impact of extreme physical chemical and Raman on various structure and function. Okay, this is the plan of my presentation. First, I will introduce rapidly the library and then to, to talk about the setup of two techniques to study the RNA structure and conformation and the application of the study to the various cell cleavage activity and the pressure and then, and then conclusion. Okay, uh, library are non-encapsulate small non-coding RNA plant pathogen. They are able to infect dramatically important broad range of plant, including herbaceous and tree crops, by regulating the host gene expression. Valerie has very is studied in 1970s, but unfortunately, the way the, by which Valerie are able to induce disease are actually unknown. There is also lack of understanding concerning secondary and tertiary structure of this pathogen and how they are able to interact with host species and to use host machinery. So this situation prompts us to develop and adapt technology to elucidate the active structure of varied and its interaction with small therapeutic agent and membrane. Here is the predict structure of the virus. In, in green is the uh, is uh, conserved a nucleotide. Here is a central core surrounded by a double strand. Here is uh, the mechanism of, of the cell cleavage of uh, the, the cell cleavage to uh, hammered ribosome structure. The central core here in red is a, is a conserved uh, nucleotide. The mechanism of uh, uh, cell cleavage is the transformation of the the, the, the uh, side to transform into 5.3 pine diester to 2.3 pine cyclic phosphate diester. So the Raman spectroscopy has a great potential as a sensitive form of molecular structure. Raman uh, spectra contain a great deal of information about the molecular dynamic of RNA. It is well adapted to study of virus because Raman signals are not contaminated by captured proteins. One of the advantages of using near infrared Raman spectroscopy is because infrared excitation at 780 nanometer avoid excitation of fluorescent emission. 
The goal in such study is to establish reliable relation, correlation between vibrational spectra and specific structure feature of RNA and their biological important complex. Here I show you some slides, some photo on the setup of the Raman spectroscopy. Laser argon pump, and this is a continuous weight titan sapphire laser. This is a spectrograph and the detection with a nitrogen cool near infrared CCD. Here is the light path of the laser excitation uh, through a backscattering objective here if the cell is on the backscattering uh, mode. Here is a high, temper high temperature block to demonstrate the uh, Harman cell. About the volume of the cell is about 20 megalitre. We can demonstrate from 5 degrees to 95 degrees. Here is the new setup of the high pressure cell with two sapphire windows. And you uh, can demonstrate from 5 to 85 degrees. And the, the high pressure is in, introduced by this capillary to the high pressure cell. This is the position of high pressure cell in the, in the configuration of right angle light scattering, uh, Raman light scattering. And this is the, the pressure generator to increase pressure to 400 megapascal. It's 4,000 kilobar. And this the manometer uh, can measure, control the pressure. And the pressure is transmitted to the, bond, to the high pressure cell to this flexible capillary. Okay, now this is the result. This is the, 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 the spect Raman spectra of the varroid uh, strand minus a strand plus species. You can see this is typically three specific Raman marker of all RNA. This region is the uh, phosphodiester uh, structure. This range is for phosphodioxide structure, dioxide uh, marker. This range is for base stacking. And iron bounding is on this range. So I can detail a little more. So in the low frequency region, you have two uh, heterocyclic ring here. So 669 is, N, is a appear to be N-type sugar poker conformation sensitive. The purine is 725. In this interesting region, typically two double, uh, double is 785 is a ring brushing of pre meeting base. And 813 is a symmetric stretching vibration of phosphodiester linkage, which is sensitive to the, the change of the geometry of the RNA bubble. In the BNA, BDNA, the peak 913 shift to 835. The double is the backbone bound angle deformation, and the degree of uh, uh, double edge content can be quantitated by measuring the ratio of intensity of 813 to the, the intensity of the phosphodioxide band. The conformation can be uh, quantitated by using the ratio between the intensity of this peak uh, divided by the intensity of this peak. So in this, this is a marker of sugar and phosphodioxide region here. Seven lines for small sugar vibration uh, band. So very interesting is a strong line in 1100 centimeter minus line assigned to a symmetric stretching of phosphodioxide group. This is sensitive to change in electrostatic environment, but insensitive to base composition of RNA. It serves as internal market of the RNA. The normalization of this intensity line allow comparison between Raman spectra of various nucleotides and strength of several base specific brevation mode in the same RNA structure. So it's very really important to know the intensity of this peak. Here is the base bay interaction and sugar packaging. So base bay interaction have the line at 
130, 130 and 1370, two peaks here. Composite of the vibration of purine ring, the system. 1338 is imidazole ring from pyrimidine here. Normalization in density of these three lines can use to calculate the stacking degree. It's the sum of these two peaks divided by this one. Strong line is in 1250. Participate in background geometry and rotation of base. This one. So you have two types of uh, structure of uh, sugar. N type is because of C prime, C three prime atom of sugar in endo position base and base in anti rotation. This is the case of uh, uh, our virus uh, strand minus. Strong line at 1267 characterizes the S type. S type is C two prime atom in endo position and base in anti geometry. We, no, we have not this peak in the virus. So the virus is on the uh, N type configuration. Uh, so this is the marker in the base pair and S bonding in this first region. Two strong Raman lines here were reserved from a base stretching vibration with big intensity and ash bonding. The ash bonding in the carbon carbonyl stretching mode of period manifest a band in here, a broad band with in slow intensity. The intensity of position of this band is sensitive to coupling with NH deformation mode of base to German denaturation, German denaturation and D2O perturbation. The typical line in 460 is attribute methylene twisting. So here the result. The binding of magnesium to the virus. Magnesium is a, a stimulator of the activity. So the magnesium binding, no effect on the phosphodiol ester line. You can see here. This is the different spectrum of the, the, the magnesium binding. Purine 726, increased by 7%. Strong effect on N-type sugar pucker. N-type sugar pucker here, you can see. The bed 785 and 8. 30, 13, increased by 8%. The conformation is 1.14, and the stack uh, ratio is 1.4. Change in nucleotide geometry and ribose ribo conformation was observed. The detail uh, effect is on the figure B. Change, huge change of 7 centimeter minus 1 and 669, to range stretching with frequency downshift of 11, minus 11 centimeters minus, minus 1. It is a consequence of the removal or coupling between ribose and purine based upon deterioration. So deterioration perturbed the hydrogen uh, bounding on this side. Frequency downshift of 785 centimeters minus 1 here indicate that a new type of phosphodiesel structure is appeared. The conformation is 0.9 in deuterium. We have a decrease of 25%. R2 is a conformation. It's a, the phosphodiester uh, structure increased by from 1.28 to 1.4. Interesting is phosphodiester, phosphodioxide line is not captured by deuterium. Here is the temperature perturbation. Is the, the, the figure C. You can see the phosphodiester mode drop and it's transformed into a broad shoulder in 70, uh, 79. Frequency downship is minus 15, was observed. Period stretching mode in 70, 85, downship to 5. Here, downship. So the R2 is a conformation of sugar phosphodiester, decreased from 1.2 to 1.79, indic indicating a decrease of 27% of order double helix content. The conformation increased from 1.2 to 1.8 ratio. There is a loss of A-type structure for the virate minus strain and a loss of nucleotide conformation. So the this is on the uh, stacking and hydrogen bonding region, very rapidly. So no big perturbation of Raman spectrum, 
no change in bad setting ratio abound, uh, bounding and still double bound for magnesium binding. The tension effect have uh, decreased upon this bound, decreased upon the duration. Why? An intense line in 1302 occurring appear, indicating that an external implant CN stressing vibrational purine are sensitive to D2 O perturbation. The second parameter change from 1.32 in water to 1.66 in deuterium, 34%. The line in 4, uh, 1485 assigned to purine stressing is also sensitive to deuterium. It is suggested that deuterium uh, perturbs some internal loop based by interaction and increase double helical rearrangement to a new conformation and rigidity. Temperature perturbation is different. We have a hyperchromy is uh, here. You can have a hyperchromy uh, line of one, two, two to eight. It's observed. Associated with increase of R stack parameter. Stacking increase. The both results are indicative of loss of base stacking and the destabilization of double helical content. A moderate intensity increase in carbon region around here reflect the rupture of hydrogen bond between base at 65 degrees. Note that the effect of temperature are quite different from that of solvent deterioration. So, the effect of our cell cleavage. This is activity of our virus. This is uh, the, the condition at, uh, we are measured at 45 degrees in present magnesium during four hours. The phosphodiata frequency region, there is weak uh, Raman intensity increase. Interesting, several Raman bands downshift were upon, uh, observed upon magnesium binding. You can see frequency downshift minus, uh, about minus 10 sediment, minus one. The intensity of symmetric phosphodiesel Raman line increased by 4% and this frequency downship minus 10. The phosphodiesel line are also downship here to minus nine sediment, minus one. All these frequency downship are indicative of vibration energy decrease of Raman marker. It is consequence of cell cleavage site, leading to change of five prime, three prime phosphodiesel cell to two prime, two prime cyclic phosphodiesel cell. Stretching mode at 70, 27, about uh, uh, here. We are also perturbed. In the sucking uh, region and upbounding region, no change. So the activity is measured here. The theorem effect, you can see the activity of the uh, strand minus here and the, the, the activity of the, the same uh, vary in presence of deuterium, a decrease of 3.5 times. And this is the strand plus. Also, this, the minus is more rapid by 3.5 times. The results show that ice bonding in the minus strand is more mobile and accessible and, and its structure more flexible than for the positive strand. The mechanism of acid bath catalysis is suggests involving proton transfer. So this is a high pressure setup of the bioreactor in order to see the effect of pressure on the activity. Many you can have a, a, a chamber, high pressure chamber of uh, 4.3 milliliter surrounded by a cooling thermostat. You have a piston driven by an electric motor to increase the pressure in the high pressure chamber. Importantly here is a, a small sas of 30 microliter. A block, this is a, the valve to block the reactor. And the two, two uh, valves are closed. When you open the, 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 this lock, you, 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 you feel the, the sas. Then you close and you, you open the two valves and with uh, nitrogen air, compression air, you can push this uh, product solution into a tube 
to quench the reaction. Rapidly, this is a photo of the setup. You can see the high pressure cell here, the piston here. You can see uh, the, the transducer is, is uh, here is the valve. This is uh, the preset valve, sampling valve. And you can see this is a manometer for the pressure and high pressure uh, uh, control generator. Here is a, a side view. This is the electric uh, driven uh, motor. And this is, uh, you can see the, the pushing uh, piston. And you have uh, some transducer here. And what, here is the result. So temperature profile, we can get at 65 degree. And we, we send it out every five minutes from till 45 minutes and after 60, 90, and 70, 100. There were quenching. And then we quench the volume. And each aliquot and then load onto the nitrogen gel and determine the fraction of cleave product. The results show that we get a bell shape temperature dependent profile at a maximum of 55 degrees. Increasing pressure inhibit the activity. And so the temperature enhance the activity, the pressure drop the activity down. We have some compensation effect. You can see one activity here at uh, 50 degree. When you drop the, the pressure, you decrease to here. But if you increase temperature by 50 degree, you restore the, activity, the same activity here. So this uh, compensation temperature pressure can be used to, to get the di phase diagram of the activity. So a plot of the rate, the logarithm nip, nip, nip of initial uh, speed versus pressure show a complex pressure dependent reaction. You can see it's very complex. It's not linear. But if you extract the initial slope here, you can determine the activation volume of the reaction, which is equal to plus 17 milli per mole. So this is interpreted as the implication of one molecule of water or proton in the mechanism of transfer uh, or transfer, trans esterification reaction in the degree of cleavage site. It's ab about the same effect than deuterium. Effect, deuterium replaced the proton with the deuterium. Very detour. So it decreased the reactivity because uh, loss of proton. So the conclusion is that the power of the combined use of Raman structure maker and physical chemical perturbation method to analyze in detail the Raman structure of uh, virate structure. The specific Raman marker provides quantitative information revealing some dynamic aspects of virate structure. The next step are to study the interaction of cell virate with small therapeutic agent and cell membrane in order to elucidate better the mechanism action in such virate to infect plant and to find efficient inhibitors. High pressure will be another interesting perturbation tool to inform structure to shift all chemical <coughs> as well as biochemical equilibrium and kinetic. The determination, the determination of volume reaction and activation, activation volume allow us to interpret the result in terms of structural dynamic, compatibility of biomolecule, and the implication on non-traditional raw water molecule in all these reactions. And for Tunity, we have not yet result on the pressure effect on the Raman spectrum. All the experiment is under analysis. So the, uh, the adoration, Mary Christine, the professor species of RNA and uh, plant virus. Jacques Venn is senior researcher. Usain Kadro is, a, post is a, a PhD student who do all the work. And now he has a postdoc position in USA. Sergei Kurek is a specialist of the laser uh, Raman setting. And all the high pressure cells are uh, built by top industry uh, after my, uh, the design by me. Thank you very much.
question. Uh, I just want to know if the I just want to know if the this methodology is a label free or don't need anything to to make uh, like a signal to the detector. In this case, the laser beam uh, Raman. This is my first question. If we, if you don't need some some like uh, label, some no 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 label. It's very interesting. Okay. So in general in general matter. Also, it is. Uh, What's the main problem you found to detect the viral RNA? The main problem? The main problem is uh, the sensitivity of the measure. So we need to increase the concentration from 0.6 uh, millimolar to 1 millimolar. And to you, backstaging uh, Raman uh, detection. Another question is. Uh, did you apply it in a uh, real sample detection? Real? Sample detection. Like you, you extract RNA from the viral from the plant and you apply it or? Yeah, we, we are not done, but we can do it. No, no problem. Also, we, we can do it and compare with the all the Raman, spec, the Raman spectrology result and the activity result. Apparently, the, the Raman spectroscopy result is compatible with the activity result. So it indicates some flexibility of the RNA structure and some uh, 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 implication of water molecule, it means the proton for the uh, transfer acceleration. So it means that the, the, the spectra you, you, you get, also you can have some uh, like. Uh, it can have some signal of contamination, for example. Yeah, usually in a Raman spectroscopy, it's very difficult. If you have protein, you have many uh, fluorescent. Plus, come from the, the, the purification of protein. So, the big fluorescent who must all the result uh, Raman line. So, in, for, R, for the RNA of a virus, not that problem. But for the virus, virus of human, it should be some problem. So you need to, to take some uh, uh, precaution. Yes. Also, just want to know if we, when it will be available the the machine, the market. Oh, no market. <laughs> I design it, but I can I can help all the laboratory to to set up this. I have uh, two laboratory to have this technology. Okay, no problem. Yeah, congratulations because I, I was working in the same lab. The student was dealing with Roman spectroscopy. I know it's, it's like very, very hard methodology. Yeah. And I think you are giving a good contribution for the science. And also, this uh, biosensor is, is really the most rapid method I, I saw until now. Maybe less than one minute you can get your result. So yeah, I agree. Thank you.